still think I'm weird, Ilya? Oh, wait. I'm recording. That's right. Ladies and gents, NDTV here with some more Twilight Princess. Last episode, we restored power to the Dominion Rod. I... I can't move it to the B button inside this building. Piece of crap. Yep. And last episode, Shod also marked our map with the locations of the owl statues that we can move with the Dominion Rod. And also we played with a bunch of kitties, but... That's not related to story progression. I wish it was, but yep. So now that we can move owl statues again, let's go move some because we have to. And the very first one I'm going to be moving is over here in the Southern Faron Woods. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of cutting around because traveling is a thing. And there's also a couple pieces of hearts to get because... We can get to pieces of hearts now that we can move these statues, but yeah. So I will meet you at where the thingy thing is. Okay, I'm right near Koro, the guy that uh, gives you the lamp and the lantern oil and whatnot. Because right over here, if you remember, there's... I blew up rocks over here, and there is an owl statue here. So let's move it. Okay, move you, and grab this thingy thing that it was hiding on top of, or that was hiding underneath it. You found one sky character. Yep, we pretty much found a letter. A missing part of the word in the ancient sky book has been restored. But there's still other missing characters. Okay, well, with that done, there's a thing for us to grab here, so let us do that. What we want to do is move the owl statue right there. Little cinematic tells us to go up there. As a wolf. So let's just get on top of this. And Minda's gonna be like, let's go up here, Link. And I can do this. <laughs> Haven't made that noise in quite some time. But where this leads us to is pretty interesting. It leads us to a treasure chest with a piece of heart. Yay, there's one more piece of heart for us to get. So I will do just that. Right over here in the Bridge of Elden, actually. Now, uh, the, yeah, the owl statues, they're always going to be in your treasure chest, but the two that I'm going for first are the ones that lead to pieces of hearts. The others lead to money, which I really don't care about because I'm going to have more than enough. Okay, first off, that guy, he's going to bother me. And he's dead, so now he's not going to bother me. Oh well, at least he tried. Okay, let's just move you here. So I can grab this guy character. I don't know how I grab a character. I guess Link just writes it down. Or the book is magic. But oh well. Okay. Now let's just move this. And what we need to do actually. Is move it across the bridge. Okay, what do I name this statue? I named the one in the Temple of Time, Bob. What? Uh, let's see. Since you're an owl, I'm gonna name you Blathers, because I've been playing Animal Crossing quite a bit recently. Oh, hello, you! You're not gonna bother me. I'm just gonna bring the owl statue right there, baby. Right there. Link, get up. Link. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's a lot of enemies! Okay. Leap of faith. This is not working out so well. Why are all these enemies over here? I mean, I can understand this guy. All the stupid boar things. 
No, camera. Work with me. Even when the camera works with me, it doesn't help me. Okay. I have 14 arrows. I can do this. How'd I miss? Okay, let's try that again! Whoa, buddy Link. There. And let's head up here, because up this ladder is the other piece of heart that I want to grab. I'm almost out of arrows. Jeez. Oh, hello, you! Die. It should be another piece of heart. Yep. And we've completed another heart container! Yay! That gives us 17 hearts. Okay. Next up in Hyrule is... Yeah, let's go here to Castle Town, I guess. There is one in the little amphitheater area. And there's also one, uh, actually fairly close to the, uh, the chicken area. No, uh, wolf is faster. Oh yeah, you're also going to want 200, not 200, 300 rupees. Okay, there's some, uh... Boblins! The, that's what these things are called. Did I call them... Uh, Boca Blends earlier. Okay, but yeah, you remember this amphitheater area? There's an owl statue right there, so... Let us grab that sky character. Okay. Bring the owl statue down. And I can make that. No, I can't, apparently. See, the thing with these- my voice crack. The thing with these owl statues is you can't grab onto the top of them, which kind of makes it frustrating because... If you could, then make these things a lot easier, but whatever. Let's grab you. Yay! So, what, there's like two more owl statues to find. You know what, let's take this, because there's a treasure chest in the area that we can grab. I think it has an orange rupee. It's right up there. Okay, I have to navigate through all this debris. And let's put you... Right about here is good. And I should be able to grab that treasure chest. Yep! This treasure chest is an orange or a purple ruby? Orange ruby, okay, so my first guess was right. Always go with your first instinct. Okay, just smack your face on the stone wall. Okay, so I'm near the Great Bridge of Hylia, because right over here, there is an owl statue. Okay, so let's just move you. And bring it under the vines. That's... Yeah, that looks close enough. Sweet. And that's one more Sky character. I believe there's only one more left for us to get, which is in the Gerudo Desert. But you know what? There's a treasure chest here, so might as well get it. What you have to do for this one... Is just... Move the Owl Statue... Move the owl statue right about here. I don't know if Link can make this jump. Yep, he can. Okay, and grab the treasure chest. Not that hard. And then the last one. To the Gerudo Desert. Okay, so um, west from the warp point in the Gerudo Desert, there is the last owl statue. Okay, getting up there is going to be different, though. 
Okay, just bring it here. And then... Boom. And that should be the last guy character for us. Missing power of the wardens. Nope, there's one more. Wait a minute. Oh, there's one in the Hyrule Field that I forgot about. Whoops. But uh, since I'm here, there is a treasure chest for us to grab. So, you want to use this platform as a guide, really. Wait, wrong way. What you want to do is go over here. Use the Dominion Rod. And then... Boom, boom. And then bring it. Hey! Is it already almost nighttime in the game? Jeez. Okay, I have to be careful when doing this. That's not careful. Well, it kind of is careful. Ha! That's how you do. And then do the same here. Oh, piss! Okay. And right over here. That makes me nervous because it's not there all the way. It's not in this little corner all the way as it could be. Right about there is good enough. And this should be another orange rupee. Yep. So what, that's 200 rupees we've gotten from this so far? Okay, now I can just leave this desert. I'll be back here later on. Okay, Hyrule Field, right up there near Kakariko Gorge. Okay, so I'm in this far off location of Kakariko Gorge at- Oh, hello you. You are not rare. You're just yellow for my lamp. Hey! I was just admiring your yellow glow. No need to attack me. But yep, here is the very last owl statue. Normally the one in the Gerudo Desert is the one that I get last, because I tend to forget that this one exists. Or at least I forgot that this one existed in this run. But whatever. This is the last guy character. What, you, what even is that supposed to be? I don't know, but we completed the Ancient Sky Book. I mean, we can show it to Shad, but, um... First, there is a treasure chest for us to get. So, first... Uh, that... That looks like the middle. I think this one has a purple ruby. But, yep. So... Let's do that. Bring you here. That looks good. And open this up. Are you purple? No, you're orange. Okay, so what? Uh, that's. Oh, I have mo I have more money than I would ever need. Well, you want at least three hundred rupees because. Things are gonna happen, and I will show you the things that are gonna happen. So let's go back to Kakariko Village. And I also need to heal off that quarter heart of damage I took from that stupid chew jelly thingy that attacked me for no reason. All I did was just say that it looked pretty yellow or something. So let's do that. And let's show the little sky book to... Shod, because he should be down here. I don't know, the book doesn't really look that little, but I tend to say things are little even when they're not, like... I don't know, it's just my... adjective of choice. But let's just drop down and potentially break our legs even though... I don't know. Okay, Shod, where are you? Oh, you're back here. Okay, you sent me a letter. 
<laughs> no, I did not get your letter. Okay. Well, let's just show you the book anyways. Yeah, that's right, he's supposed to send you a letter telling you that he's back here. Yep, how did you investigate the... Link, this is amazing! Amazing! Now this must be the word we need. Let's try it immediately. Ah, it is taken on the same shape as the other statues. What can this mean? And I thought we had solved the last of the riddles. Blast! How confounding. Ha, blast. I can make a cannon pun out of this, cause... Cause, um... The reason I can make a cannon pun out of this is because if we use the Dominion Rod, we can actually move this statue now that the thing is not blocking it. And... Down here, there is... There is this thing that looks like a giant cannon. Link! How in blazes did you move that statue? And what's this? I moved the statue with my muscles. This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. But how could one use this to get to the city in the sky? Ooh, that name. That name brings back bad memories. Stunning. I feel almost nervous. Just think if we could get this to work, we could actually reach the city in the sky. But do we want to get to the city in the sky? Oh, hello, Minna. A cannon, huh? What do you plan to do with this link? Let's warp it. Except that guy's still watching us. Yeah, so... Fun fact, this is actually part of a glitch here. First, let me talk to him. Ah. Yes, ah. Perhaps I am in your way? Yeah, you are in my way, but I'm not gonna say it to your face. So, let me know the results of another time, Link. Uh, it seems broken, so you do well to show it to a cannon expert, I should say. Now, right there, if you didn't talk to him like I did, and you saved this game and turned it off, the game would glitch and you would not be able to warp the cannon. Now, I haven't done the glitch myself because I don't want to make it so I can't beat the game because you need to warp this cannon. So let's warp it to where Lake Hylia. I, I know the maps. Lake Hylia. So, she's gonna bring the cannon over here. That is pretty cool that you can move entire cannons like that. And there's the broken cannon. Now what if we warped it to somewhere else? How funny would that be? Like, what's... Like, imagine just like... Warping this to like... I don't know, like the front of Castle Town. That'd be funny. But what we need to do... Is talk to this guy, this cannon expert. The one that has shot us out of his own cannon a couple of times. And what is his name? I don't remember. But he's gonna notice this. He didn't he didn't notice it before. He didn't see it like come down from the sky or anything. He just notices it now. But yep. So let's just bring him over to the cannon. And it is pretty banged up. And there's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Yeah, he's gonna fix it for us. 
for 300 rupees, which is the maximum amount of money that you can hold with just the basic wallet in this game. So yeah, good thing I have more than enough. How many days did that take? I don't know, but the cannon is fixed. Here we go, buddy. All working as it should, I think. It may look like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. Um, I wouldn't know, but yep. It could send us to the heavens. So yeah. Draining my wallet to fix this. But how are we supposed to use this to get to the heavens, you might ask? Well, just equip the claw shot and latch onto this target. So let's do just that. And of course, Uku comes in just in time. That was quite the blood curdling scream, Link. But yep, we have made it to the heavens. And Uku is here. Phew, gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, adventurer. This is the Sky City of the Uka. Erm, um, since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. Ooh, that's a giant dragon thingy. Yep, a giant dragon thingy. Jeez, what's up with all these things? Oh goodness, brave adventurer, you won't believe it! There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. I don't know, it looked like it was just flying around, but uh, yep. Gonna check the shop for survivors? You do just that. But, with that done, we made it here to the next dungeon. We are in the heavens, but this place is long, which is an understatement, cuz, yeah. So I'm just gonna end it off right here, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Cuz next time we're gonna be going through this long ass dungeon. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. But uh, yep, see you guys next time for some more Twilight Princess.